going on guys it's tower mmt pros back again with another short quick video this video right here we're upgrading all of our stainless fittings as many as we can uh well we've been upgrading them for the last few weeks of course you already know you guys have already seen the video with the ball valve with the marshmallow swivel awesome 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 it's all stainless got this from south side equipment awesome I ordered these stainless fittings from online. Of course, you've seen my J-Rod before. I've been shooting with that. And my polygon that I had, it actually started leaking. So I carried it back to the store and they gave me a new one. You see, it's new. But when I started putting it back together, I said, hey, I might as well go ahead and go with all stainless. So I went with all stainless fittings. These were brass before, so I want all stainless here. Of course, I put the stainless fit in here. They said this right here was stainless, but as you can see, it looks a little, little interesting for it to be stainless. Let me know what you think in the comments. Y'all think that's stainless? I don't think so. But uh, I'm probably going to pick another one up to replace that a stainless. And, of course... This is my MTM SGS 28. It's rated for 4,060 PSI, 12 gallons per minute. Of course, my unit is uh, 4,000 PSI, five and a half gallons per minute. And you know, this thing right here, it has all stainless internal, so it's definitely good for house washing. I like it, but I'm gonna upgrade to the Sumter. Uh, I'm not sure what the numbers are. There's a Sumter uh, spray gun. It's all stainless on the inside, so it won't corrode on the inside. It has the uh, ceramic ball valve in it. So it's definitely awesome. So we're definitely going to make a video of that when we get that in. But yeah, this thing right here for detailing is awesome. The hose won't bind up. You just hook right into it. Hose won't, will not bind up, and it's all stainless. So definitely recommend this guys I've been using it for a few weeks as you can see I have beat it up a little bit I try not to beat it up too bad but I have beat it up a little bit but this video is about upgrading my fitness on you know on my wands my hoses and on my trailer so you know I got a couple of my hoses that's gonna go to on my pressure washer that's gonna go on my hose reel that's gonna go on my whip line and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these two just yet. I think I'm going to need some more fittings. But for right now, we're just going to put these four together. But uh, hold on a second. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them. Okay, guys. This is the fitting that we're going to change on the pressure washer. We've already got a stainless fitting on our whip line. But this right here is starting to leak. It's starting to get a little... It's already loose, so we're going to take it loose and let you guys check it out. It's already got a little pitting on it. You see how the... Let's see if get in focus. I'm not sure if you can see it. But if you look real carefully, like right here, right there, there, you can see where the little balls were. And it actually causes leaks. So we're upgrading this fitting. That's one that we're going to change out. I hope this isn't, uh, this isn't upside down, but it may be, guys. It may be. That's one we're going to swap out. I'm going to show you the other ones. So we already got this stainless connected here. Those are both stainless, ready to go. Just got to tighten those down. Hold on one second. Okay, guys, these are the other fittings that we'll be changing out. We'll be changing out this one right here on the swivel. We'll be changing out this one on the end of the hose, as well as we'll be changing out the other end of the whip line. This is part of the whip line that runs from over there. It connects into the hose reel swivel 
So we've got to change these two fittings as well as the one that's on the end of the, the holes. So we're going to change those out. We're going to let you check it out. Hold on one second. Okay, guys. So we got our tape around our uh, holes. Go ahead and thread our stainless uh, quick neck on. Then we can take our whip line and take our fitting to go on our whip line, thread that on. Just need to tighten those down. Then we can go over here to the hose reel. Still got it in focus, okay. Put this in the hose reel. Once we tighten that down, click our quick connect into here. It's already connected over there on the other side with the uh, pressure washer. Then we have this already ready to go. And we can take these right here. And we, we're not going to get rid of them because they still work. You know, the balls look a little crusty and a little bad down there. That one looks a little flat. That one might be all right. So we're going to put this fitting in here. We're going to save this just in case. Put this in our, you know, I never throw anything away. I mean, if it's not completely trash, now this one I may throw away, but this one right here I'm definitely going to keep, you know. But uh, I'm definitely going to save this for right now, guys. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Upgrading to stainless. And just like that, we can hook the ball valve in. Then hook our wand into it. You know, just like that, guys. All stainless. Won't have to worry about it corroding or giving up on you. But, you know, as far as detailing, I can take the ball valve off. Go directly to this. Put me a white tip in. And I still got full swivel capabilities. You know, um, I won't have to worry about my holes getting bounded up. You know how if it's locked, you know, you'll be fighting that holes when it's stiff. You'll be fighting it. But you won't have to fight it anymore, guys. Get one of these MTM SGS 28s. Come with the stainless swivel. And it's all stainless on the inside. Highly recommend it, guys. 4,000 PSI, 12 gallons a minute. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Tower MMT Pro signing out. Thanks for viewing.